Uh, yeah, we are live. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, everybody watching this, well, this Wednesday afternoon. Um, it's another episode of Just Success. Um, and we're very honored to have our guest with us, Leanne Colico. She's going to be sharing how an overachieved, uh, overworked, wheelchair-bound employee found freedom and fulfillment in freelancing. Thank you for joining us today, Leanne. My and, and, um, and and today, um, well, I'm I'm your host today, Jason Dula, and we have Mr. Phoenix Jackson over here, who is um, co-hosting for for this. Pretty soon, you might see him hosting on his own. What do you guys think of that? Let us know in the comments. Um, and if you're watching, yeah. if you hear us and see us. Let us know in the comments below um, where you're watching from. I've seen uh, Martina Bautista. Oh, uh, superb. Sarang pa ni Chris ayan. Um, congrats, Liana. Liana ka nagay dito. Um, waiting. Good afternoon. Ayan si Mikael. Good afternoon. If you can, yeah, um, say hi. Let us know you're watching from it. If you have any questions for us, um, for me, for Phoenix, for Liana, let us know in the comments below. Um, also, as just as a reminder, well, before we get started, um, Leanne has created a giveaway, um, informational giveaway for you guys. All you need to do, it, it, it's, it's the five tips on how to stand out. Ashita, uh, yeah. right? First, she has five tips on how to stand out on your cover letters and also five books that will help you improve your freelance game. So a lot of great information here. If you want to get those guides, um, all you have to do is share this Just Success interview and comment shared down below. Okay, so share this and comment shared for you to get these guys. Let me just um, hit that as well. Um, all right, all right. So go ahead and do that. Um, even if even if you're watching the replay, you can still get this. Um, just share this and comment share down below. So we're going to dive into Leanne's origin story, how, how she got started in the world of freelancing. Um, she's been doing it for a number of years now. I won't spoil the story, um, but yeah, Leanne, take it away. Um, let's let's talk about how you got, you know, where you were before you were freelancing, what you were doing, and during that transition period when you first start got started in freelancing. Okay, so for everyone who doesn't know, just a little background. I am a PWD. I am wheelchair bound. Kasi may sakit ako na tinatawag na SMA. And it's a uh, gradual loss of motor neurons na nag-resolve siya sa muscle So, kaya ako naka-wheelchair. So, anyway, um, bago ako napunta sa pagsisilan, uh, I was once a remote employee sa isang online learning company. And uh, na-assign ako sa operations department. I had full time meals. Yeah. So, my sinusunod na shift, schedule, my designated day off, and all. Tapos, ang um, responsibility ko is, or, tumutulong ako sa tech support, so, operations, kanyan, yung mga mga reports. Parang dito, MP, hello, hello, actually. Then, yung kapatid ko, si ate, nag- um, freelance na siya to support her studies, the data and free work, so ganyan. Tapos, from time to time, may outsource niya sa amin yung work niya. Kasi siguro busy sa school and all. And para sa akin, it was okay kasi nga extra income na din yun. Pero, sorry na ate, at that time, at the back of my mind, niniisip ko, parang unfair naman to. I'm doing all the work. Pero ganda lang yung sinasahod ko. So, that's when I decided na mag-create ng profile ko sa Upwork. Tapos, hindi pala ganun yung kadali. Uh, ang daming snob na client. Siyempre, baguhan ko pa lang. Wala pang um, experience and completely empty yung profile mo. Tapos, ayun, um, sinasabay ko pa rin sa full-time work yung pag sa uh, apply apply until one time, finally, may nag na nakapansin na ng profile ko and she might have been the lowest 
great client I ever had. Pero I learned big time sa kanya. Sa kanya ako natuto ng um, madaming bagay, madaming uh, tools about freelancing and marketing and management and all. Pero even though alam ko na malaki nga yung, mas malaki yung pwede kong ma-earn sa pag-freelance, natatakot akong bitawan yung full-time work, yung remote employment. Kasi, of course, we all know na mas pag-freelance and hindi siya stable. And iniisip ko sa mga susunod ba na buwan, may sifeldohin pa rin ba ako? Ganyan. Eh, ano, may, may isang client na, isa pang client na nakapansin ng profile ko. And, luckily for me, long-term yung position. Tapos, what was surprising at that time is, tinaasan niya yung rate na mas mataas pa sa kung anong nasa profile ko. Kaya, sabi ko, oh, sige na nga, i-grab ko na to. Mag-resign na ako dun sa company and totally mag-freelance na ako. Ayun, Sir Jace. Ayun, um, so that's that's how you got started, Divine Freelancing. Um, yeah. And it's very interesting, you, know, you mentioned that, you know, your your sister was in school. Um, was it older sister or younger sister? Older. Uh, your older sister was in school, um, and then she did, took data entry work. Um, where she got paid, pero she also paid you, you naman, di ba? Hindi man lahat ng yung buong fee sa kanya and you were doing all the work. Yes, of course. Pero kasi, yun yung sabi niya sa akin lately na maliit lang din kasi yung sinikita ko at that time na I started sa maliit na rate. So, alam mo naman, mataas din yung bibigay ko sa'yo. <laughs> Nagkalinawan kami kanina. <laughs> Before the interview, at least, we <laughs> So, um, you know, that's how you, you know, you you weren't being paid a lot at that time, di ba? Parang, um, very, for a very low rate, because half of what your your sister was earning, pa. Um, but if I were to ask, like, yung did you learn anything at that time? na you're able to apply sa freelancing mo ngayon na parang contributed to where you are right now sa freelancing? Oh yeah, in the first company, of course, uh, it played a vital role sa pagka-discover sa akin ng client na nag-offer sa akin ng mataas na rin. Kasi doon ako natuto ng customer service and yung technical stuff na rin. So na-apply ko naman. Hmm. And diba, like you know, you're doing experience more doing data entry work, and you said when you first got hired as a freelancer, parang you were weren't paid very well, pa, diba? parang low rate ka pa. Mm-hmm. Um, but considering that, diba, um, you know, is it? Do you think yung experience na yun, is it worth it or naka contribute ba siya sa sa, I guess, success mo ngayon as a freelancer? Of course. Kasi nga, yung hardship din sa trabaho na yun, na, na-apply ko naman sa pag-freelance. Oo, oo, di ba? Like, because, you know, a lot of us, especially mga newer freelancers, di ba? Masyarong challenging talaga when you get started. Uh, as all of us here have experienced it na, and it's challenging when you get started. Um, but, yung mga challenges, yung mga yung mga um, struggles na yun, um, contribute to where we are right now, di ba? We contribute to um, the success. But it's all worth it in the end, you know? We can say it's not worth it. It's, it's all worth it, na, those challenges. And looking back, um, those years back. But, and, um, I mean, there's a, there's a question here. Yeah, Leon, was there ever a time that you felt like giving up, especially during the earlier times? Oh, yes. Kasi yung nag-freelance na ako, um, hindi ko inakala na sunod-sunod na yung client ko. As in, dag na, tapos ang dami ko ng um, reject na uh, interviews. So, 
eh, eh, maybe it's a good problem to have sa iba na ang dami mong work kanyan. Pero para sa akin, kasi nga may sakit ako, it was both uh, draining mentally and physically. So, yung bulk ng trabaho, parang ganun pa din naman yung sa dati kong work, mas madami pa. Pero, um, yun nga, was there ever time, yun yung time na gusto ko na mag-give up kasi parang ang dami-dami-dami na nang ginagawa ko. Pero, um, yun yung time na nag-enroll ako sa master class ni Sir Jay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, kasi the, the program uh, promised to help you earn more while working less. And not you put on my Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. I'm glad to see um, you, you're able to achieve that goal na, uh, earning more while working less. Um, but yun, diba? you you experienced that time. Um, I guess we can let's talk about that time, that period in your freelancing career na you were getting lots of clients. Diba? Like, so you know, what kind of work were you doing? Um, how are you getting the clients? And what was the experience like? Ah, uh, so Okay, siya sa budget. <laughs> Ang dahil ng earnings, but then physically nga, siya okay and mentally. Kasi um, you're, you're attending to a lot of projects all at once. Dami-dami mong dinitil, so nakakalito na rin minsan. Kasi yung roles mo vary. Yung general VA yung na-offer ko at the time. So, ayun. Sobrang conflict sa schedule. Na burn out ako at uh, lalo ng time na yun. Very general VA. So, like, what were you doing? Um, from marketing, nagyap pa po sa marketing, my graphic, my operations, then email, email management, customer support, and even accounting. I hate numbers, but kailangan. Oh, dami pa lang. And how many how many clients was this? How many clients were you juggling at the same time? I think uh, I had five to seven clients at the time, di ba? Yeah, a burnout talaga yun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Plus, you're doing so many different things pa, di ba? So many different kinds of tasks. That was five to seven clients. So, di ba? I understand. Okay naman yung earnings, pero... Um, physically, like just physically and mentally, na talaga. Mm, uh, at the extent of my, uh, so, health. so at this time in your freelancing career, diba, you've already, diba, you, you already know na you could earn money, diba? Parang, you were able to prove na hindi to scam, diba? Na you're able to earn money, um, and a good amount of money, na, diba? You're earning, you're earning well, na. Um, how, parang, what's the timeline? Diba? You started freelancing in. Ah, uh, Sir James, hindi ko na maalala yung timeline. <laughs> Five years ago ba yun or four? Pero, um, what year? Diba? Parang what year would you? 2016 ba yun? Nag-start ka? 2015. 2015. And, and, like, how long did it take you to get to that point? Parang estimate lang. How long did it take you to get to that point na ang dami mo ng client na yun, yung na-burn out ka? A year. It, it, it's one year. One uh, year. Uh, well, diba? and and but seeing that, diba, I, for us, that's also a success. You know? That's that's success. Getting to that point in one year. Yes, not na, na burnout guy and everything, but seeing you that you got to that point, na, na you realize that you had to do something different in your career, para. To sustain it, otherwise, like I'm burned out. Diba? It, it, took you a year to, it, it only took you a year to get there. For a lot of people, it takes longer by, um, before they get to that stage of a burnout. I guess I'm lucky. <laughs> oh, and, and that's, I know, lucky and skilled. Diba? Yes, Phoenix? Yeah, it's skilled. I, I would say skilled. You're skilled. Oh. You're very skilled. Um, uh, kasi ano eh, so far with your story, with, with your story, as you said, regardless of oh, regardless of things that actually uh, give you a hard time, 
nakakaano ka pa na you're still prevailing and continuous pa rin ang, ang pagdating ng job offer sa'yo which is something that rarely happens to other people other freelancers but how were you able to balance but uh, with this burnout pala uh, did you learn anything from from burning out and how were you able to balance that nowadays mm, yung nasa class ni Sir Gifton yun talaga yung nakatulong sa akin para magkaroon ako ng work-life balance. Pero Sir Dave, ilgyan ko lang ito kasi uh, hindi mo alam na nangyari to after the master class na nagkaroon ako ng conflict of interest. So, uh, sa master class, diba, tinuruan mo kami mag-niche down, gumawa uh, ng target market and all. And at that time, nag-web design ako and hindi ko masyadong maalala kung nakuha ko yung high value client patapos na yung master class or after ng master class kasi yun nakakuha naman ako ng high value client to validate yung mga tinuro mo and yung mga natutunan ko yung pag improve the skills ko and all pero kasi naging conflict siya dahil ang sinserve kong niche is creative entrepreneurs mm. and ako kasi, artist ako on the side. So, pag uh, I connect with potential clients, sinasabi ko sa sarili ko na sana nagagawa ko rin yung ginagawa nila na I'm, I'm not doing uh, web design for them. Instead, sana ako yung ginagawa ng website. So, nice. ano, eh, meron pang isa pang decision na paano kung i-pursue ko naman yung pagiging artist or illustrator na lang. Eh, ayoko naman din kasi ayoko ma-corrupt yung passion ko ng money. Kasi if, if um, may pressure na to earn from work, from doing what you do, what you love doing, um, iba, iba na yung magiging kalalapasan ng ginagawa mo. Mm-hmm. So, yun, um, I decided na lang na mag-offer ng general CEO service ulit, but this time, smarter. In-apply ko yung mga natutunan ko sa masterclass mo, how to market myself, how to value myself, and lucky for me, na naka-attract naman ako ng high-value client as a general VA. Na, I don't have to work full-time para maka-earn ako ng full-time. And I don't oh, have oh, um, especially considering the uh, um the, from from web design right? you initially you were general VA mm-hmm. and then well, you niche down so web design and then you realized parang you wanted to offer general VA. Pero this time you mga clients most of general VA are high value clients now, no? Mm-hmm. High value na sila. Oh, that's, that's that's amazing because you know usually diba, usually when we talk about um mga high value clients and when we talk about high value clients these are clients are willing to pay um larger amounts diba? um usually we think of uh, let's say facebook ad mga copywriting um uh, mga e-com ganyan. and rarely long do we attribute this to vir- the virtual assistant uh, area but Echo, you're able to do that. Uh, so that's congratulations on that. Thank you, sir. I, that, that, I, I also love the what you mentioned a while ago that you don't have to work full time to to earn full time. That that is beautiful. Yeah, ng dapat maachieve. That I think I hope you, ladies and gentlemen, will pick up on that. Because yeah, ng uh, Lia, the reason why Leanne keeps on succeeding in her business. Here in freelancing is because she has the right attitude. Mm-hmm. So yeah, okay, uh, thank you very much, uh, Leanne, for that. Now, Leanne, um, there's a question here. So I, I would like to to expound on it with your experience. Um, since nagkaparon ka ng mga high value clients, or you were even overwhelmed with with invitations before, the, what do you think are the common mistakes? Why other people aren't achieving as much as you do. And then yun sa ano, PDF. <laughs> they should download it. Pero uh, just to 
answer your question. Siguro it kasi you talk about yourself na puro I. You, you don't, dun sa interview, hindi, hmm. what are the common mistakes? Ah, na, hindi mo sinasabi kung paano mo matutulungan yung client. Instead, paano ka magiging right fit sa kanila. Gusto mo lang makuha yung trabaho, hindi yung gusto mo silang matulungan. Kaya hmm. Yeah, nice. that's, that's like a big mistake that most people make. And, and talking about, you know, speaking of like mistakes and lessons, but you said like, um, by the way, for everyone watching, um, Leanne enrolled in the um, Road to 100K Masterclass, um, which is now Next Level Financing. So VA Bootcamp complete. So you can still get those lessons in the complete package. Um, they're still there as recorded lessons. But um, if we were to ask you, like, what was, I guess, the biggest takeaway um, at that time when you when you just finished the master class you didn't really know because and you're still figuring things out but looking back like what are the maybe one or two biggest changes that you made that contribute to like where you are right now and, and the success that you found mm, it's coming from the genuine side of wanting to help the client Kasi yun yung lagi mong sinasabi din sa master class or days na at business partners kayo. So, uh, at kung ano man yung relationship, dapat it comes from gusto mo talaga siyang tulungan, not because you want to earn money from the client. Tapos yung valuing your work na hindi porket ganito yung ginagawa mo, ganito lang yung ma- makukuha mo. But Kasi pag um, na-build na yung confidence mo and feeling mo worth it naman and valuable yung ginagawa mo para sa client, you wouldn't um, think twice of charging a lot. <laughs> Parang yan. Oo. Oh, oh, oh. And, and it's, it's scary for most freelancers, diba? So, like, guys, and in, in, in those who are watching right now, diba? Have you tried um, charging higher rates, diba? Um, or are you scared of charging higher rates? Let, let us know. Let us know what you think. Um, because you know, Leanne used to be a general VA, was earning a lot, and now is a general VA and is earning a lot. But there's a big difference there. Um, so yeah, share your thoughts, guys. What do you what do you think about that? Um, going back to you, you mentioned earlier now, um, Deba, you're working less, but you know, you're actually working less and earning more. Now, Deba, compared to, um, like two years ago. Um, so is it okay if we parang go through like what what is your typical day like like how many hours do you work and what do you do normally in your day? Oh, good question, Sergey. So kung dati ang ginagawa ko is I'm a slave to an alarm clock na gigising ako para magtrabaho tapos hanggang hapon na yon tapos wala na akong energy. Right now um the mornings ko para sa passion projects ko Either I make my art or read. As you can see, I have a lot of books for personal development. And then after that, pag hapon, actually half a day lang ako nagbuhat. So yun na na, na sinagawa ko ng mga clients ha, hanggang 4 or 5 to 6 p.m. And then some evening, ayun, relax, relax na lang. So yes. ang laki, ang laki na yung pinagbago. Nice, nice. Uh, ayun, parang half a day, half a day lang you work mo, um, four or five hours, uh, and you're able to to work on your your passion, diba? your art. So uh, that's a uh, that's, that's um an ideal lifestyle if I if I were to say. The four hour work. I think sila jarin ni Lian because uh, as she mentioned before getting burned out tapos yung mga maraming ang mga offers diyan but uh physically she just she just can't do it, it she, it's just draining her and her life uh, source which leads us to a, an interesting question here uh, from from Eid Libay. I, i'm a cancer patient having my chemo treatment do you think this va job will not stress me enough in the long run 
Uh, she's currently enrolled, by the way. Um, who's your client, well? <laughs> Masasabi ko, para hindi ka ma-threat. Kasi may mga micromanagers and meron naman um, who cares for you as a human kesa yung tinitingnan ka lang as an employee. employee. There you go. There. Uh, choose your clients well. They're very good answer. Yeah, choose, choose your clients well. Um, you, know, you get to that point where you can screen, but I don't just settle for any client. So, um, now, right now, Dubai, you said you're, you're, uh, you're general, you're doing general VA work. Um, what kind of like, you know, but that can be anything, honestly, but you can pretty much do anything. Like, are you focused on some specific skills or like, what are the skills that really um, practice or you really offer as a general VA? Um, bumalik para na ako sa na sa operations pa din ako nagsasign. So I help out sa operations and then my content uh, customer support and email management. Yun. Pero no mark no marketing. Mga no work. Yeah. <laughs> nakaka-stress naman. Well, yeah, actually nakaka-stress yung mga it's more stressful yung mga marketing related work. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think admin is um, more chill, more, more chill than work. Um, but really, well, that, that's um, great to hear um, where you are right now and, and then parang what you're able to achieve and what you're able to, to do right now. Um, I think we have things. Do we have some comments that we can share? Yes, actually, a lot of people are inspired because regardless of whether the job is stressful or not, and the system nearly and uh, half a day of work, malang uh, inspired na ang marami. Just like um, Jerica here, she mentioned simply amazing half a day of work, earning more, working less, having the chance also to express your passion, and that is inspiring. Actually, yes, that you have the you're doing the complete package already. Everything that almost every freelancer desires is happening in your life. The same goes with smiley heart. Pareho rin ang comment niya, wow, half a day of work only, great. So I guess uh, regardless of whether the job is stressful or not, ang, ang pilit pa rin at i-achieve ng mga ibang freelancers is to work as short as you do, the end. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that is great. Um, there's a question here. How do you, how do client VA be partners and not client treat you as employee? Oh, okay. Uh, uh, is there a way that do you have the tip for for freelancers so that the the relationship will be a bit more harmonious rather than a a boss and a an employee? Okay, um, I think you should take it into a personal level. Na care about the client, hindi lang sa business niya, but yung well being niya in general. Tapos mag-suggest ka paano mga ma-improve yung workflow ng business para makita niya na may authority ka. Ganun yung para sa akin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are those are great tips. Take it to a personal level. Um, and then if you can help the client grow their business, di ba? Um, mm -hmm. So you're very focused on, parang, I guess, uh, like, one way that the clients won't treat you as an employee and look at you as partners is like it, what you said, like ikaw you're the one treating your clients as partners because you are the one who is caring for their well-being, not just about the money, not just about the business. And you're the one who's who's taking that step and showing that you are a partner to them because you're the one talking about the workflows, talking about growing their business. So it starts, well, in your case, it starts with you. In the, of course, the client, it depends then, pero you're taking the first step to build that relationship, to build that partner relationship. Oh, oh, like, so, yeah, um, so you know, you've, you've been freelancing for, for a few years now. Um, what, what do you think's the biggest challenge that you encountered um, at, at, through these years of freelancer? Mm, kung dati, ano, yung sa mga early stages, yung 
workload, burnout, kanyan. Ngayon naman, siguro, <laughs> masasabi ko, procrastination. <laughs> Kasi nga, since uh, free ka na, eh, ang hirap na hindi-discipline ng sarili na. Kailangan nyo gawin mo to, ganyan mo to, ganyan. So, pag uh, medyo slack, I, I, may, ano yun na, may sinasabi na work expands to the time na av- may available, gano'n. So, pinupush mo nang pinupush yung deadline mo kasi na ang daming dami mo pang time. Pero pag ando na, ano ka na, professor ka na. Yun yung challenge ko ngayon po kasi na ito. Oh, and and I think you know a lot of freelancers experience that. Um, because about before, like, well, ako I worked in an office and usually have a boss na who follows up. Oh, sana yung ganito, sana ganyan. Pero as freelancers, you know, we don't really have that so much. Um, so say, mamaya, mamaya ako nang gawin yun. You know, I'll finish. So you maybe in your case, I'll finish my painting muna. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Happen, yeah, it happens to me too. I think it applies to everybody. Kaya pa nga yung busy guru yung uh, the experience nila yun. Kasi yung uh, hindi pa sila masyadong devoted. I think it, uh, it's a different level of procrastination. Usually, pag uh, ganito okay na ang situation mo sa freelancing, it's all about your comfort. Pero dun sa mga uh, starters naman, mga newbies, usually yung doubt nila, yung self-doubt nila na hindi nila, uh, they think it is not going to do well for them, so they are going to look for something else to do. And karamihan yung mga, ano eh, yung mga nagmumukmuk na lang. <laughs> mga nag, naman nagmumukmuk na lang, nakawawa na, lang, na, na naman ako. You know, we all have the, these evil thoughts that uh, sometimes make us procrastinate uh, especially to mga newbies and as for like Lian, uh it's more about the comfort already nowadays and so i guess procrastination is something that we have to battle against um regardless of where we are in freelancing already so uh may tanong dito si ano si shirley how to build your confidence to your client ma'am Lian? come again how to build your confidence po to your client, Ma'am Lian? Practice. And mistake. Siyempre, kasama rin yun. Pag pinapractice mo yung confidence mo, minsan nagkakamali ka. And of course, you learn from our mistakes. And ba develop na rin yun pag continuously mo lang siya ginagawa? Mm-hmm. Yeah, practice. Yeah. And then you get it after, at, at first, diba, you usually were, you do it scared naman, diba? Yep. Oh, yeah, do the work scared. But as time goes on, that's when you build your confidence. Uh, I guess that's, that's it with, with anything new, diba? Um, you can't let your fears stop you from doing things. Um, so, kahit takot ka, gawin mo pa rin. Um, and then, but eventually you do, you do gain your confidence and then you can, you can grow further um, as a freelancer, Nariga. Um, so, like, you're 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 a full-time freelance, well, part-time freelancer, part-time creative, I know, creative person, I know, creative artist, artist or something like that. Uh, what's if I were to ask you, like, what's the best thing um, that you can say, um, the best thing about being a freelancer? Um. I guess in time, mas maraming na akong time ngayon. Hindi lang para sa arts ko, but also for the people that I love. And ayun nga, yung schedule din na you could work from anywhere you like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Time, diba? you're able to do you're able to do what you want, um, able to spend the time with the people that you love. Um, mm-hmm. Being able to do... Uh, to work anytime, anywhere. So mm-hmm. Those are, those are like that's the autonomy in freelancing. At all, or you know, some people they want to earn more. You know, like you before at that time, you know, a couple of years ago, you wanted to your your priority was earning more. So dami mo clients, right? Yeah. Uh, but right now your priority is um, not going crazy. So yeah, less 
you know, not not having so many clients, um, just working a few hours a day, right? so you have that freedom to choose, you know, that choice. Yeah, I guess that's a that's a pattern that everybody should follow. We everybody wants to just have as many clients as possible and gain money as much as possible. But after that, magkaka burn out sila and they will learn their lesson and they will rethink of their approach. That has happened to you before, right, Nian, according to yeah. your story. So, so una talaga, it's all about gaining money and then later on you got burned out you you're more into the comfort with benefits nowadays but um have you ever had as uh Beersheba asked have you ever had inconsiderate clients and what do you do with them I don't know that thing, no, and then I'm going to go to client, so mga low value client. I'm going to go to the deadline, so I'm going to go to the deadline. So, I'm going to go to the deadline. So, I'm going to go I'm not scared to push the deadline if I'm going to go to the deadline. So, just be honest with your client, na, hey, I cannot do this, can we reschedule? Then, yeah. And kung hindi pa doon, find another client. Find another client. Nice. nice. I, I love that she, see, see, it's really, it's really, it's really, it's really, it's really, uh, very sweet and very, very quiet and, and gentle person. Tapos siya itong medyo mataray na, okay, if I just find another client. Okay, I don't think ayaw. Just find another client. Pero <laughs> sweet pa rin when she says it. That's the important thing. Yeah. It's one of the benefits of the proceeding. You get to choose who you work with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get to choose who you work with. And that's um, one of the great benefits. It's, it really is up to you um, who you work with, how much you're going to charge, and so on. And if you guys have any questions, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The the good thing about Leanne is her experience. Uh, aside from aside from learning from her experience, she also gained a lot of knowledge on how to deal with freelancing, uh, with life in freelancing. That's the pressure in freelancing from the master class. And I think um, that goes along with Emmanuel's comment here. Confidence comes from competence. Competence come from come from skill, and skill comes from practice. Uh, just practice, practice, practice. Yeah, that's a very good way of putting it, Emmanuel. Uh, guys, if you have any questions for Lan, feel free to ask them in the comments um, down below. And, and just as a reminder for everybody, um, we do have uh, Leanne's giveaways. Um, she has two giveaways, the five books that will help you improve your freelance game and the five tips on how to stand out on your cover letter. So those are the two giveaways. Um, all you have to do is share this um, if you hit that share button share this on your wall and comment shared and of course watch till the end as well um we'll, we'll be giving this out uh one hour after the interview ends okay so so go ahead and do that and, and yeah if you have any questions for the end um please feel free to to ask them in the comments below Alain, i see you have a, a lot of books above you on the background yeah, okay. I think, sorry, yung recommend mo the image or visited. Uh, you have a physical, I know, a physical copy there, didn't? Yes, of course. Or you prefer physical books more than I know, more than digital? Yes, sir. Kasi iba pa rin pag physical, kasi yung digital copy lang. Uh oh, uh oh. I'm face and like. <laughs> I like having you in Kindle because uh, mm -hmm. of the space. Yeah, I like digital as well. But there are a lot of purists when it comes to books. Eh. But um, yeah, by the way, where, where are you basing your your PDF from, Nian? Your PDF? Um, the experience. And then mm -hmm. the mga nababasa rin. So you still have time to read, and you still have time to create content, despite the, uh, aside from everything else that you're doing right now. How are you, how are you managing this? 
um, priority, setting priority. Kasi pag, at saka discipline na rin, kailangan na rin. <laughs> Matari, matari sumagot si Lee. Matari, parang nalilibago ako na. Ang sweet, sweet, hindi ako. Priority at saka discipline. Bakit? <laughs> Are there any um, practices or characteristics that you developed during your freelancing journey that you were, that you just discovered? Parang yung at uh, iba ang gawain mo before freelancing and may nabago ka during and after during freelancing. Mm. Siguro nung nag-freelance ko, naging self-development junkie ako kasi I always think how to provide value sa client. So, paano ko magagawa or ma-achieve yun? Of course, it's to read and gain more knowledge and, and yeah, apply to naman sa kanila kung ano man yung mga discipline yeah, ako. Ano? All the personalities. <laughs> Nakamute ka, Phoenix. You're, you're, you're muted, Phoenix. Oh, there you go. I said multiple personalities in a good way. So, <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> yung, ano, yung, um, and as you mentioned before, na, na with your with your burnout, but did you ever feel low during your burnout when you wanted to quit freelancing? Because it seems like your it seems like it's as you pointed out earlier. By the time na, ano, na, whenever you are facing challenges, the, you're, you're, you face them head on. Wala, wala akong na self pity or you feel sorry for yourself. Was there ever a such a feeling during that time? In your no response. Meron naman si Phoenix, pero kasi wala ka nung mararating kung mag-stay ka lang dun sa self-doubt, self-pity. So, for a time, andun ako, pero I chose to move forward and face na lang the challenges na ibigay lahat ng mga kaya ko para ano, masurpass ko yung mga challenges ko. Nice, yeah. nice. So, um, may isang tanong dito from Shirley. She said, uh, usually po how many days ang pinipigay na deadline ng client? Well, it's a case-to-case basis. Depende kung uh, anong project ba yan. And kung kailan yung binigay. It's a big question. Oh, it depends. Okay. It depends. Phoenix, I think your video is frozen, by the way. Oh, again. Okay. Sorry. Um, um, I saw this uh, other. Hi. Oh, well, that's Phoenix Public Security. Um, mm-hmm. there's a comment here from Jerica. Uh, do you have boring days? Now, I guess when you feel unmotivated, and what do you do when this happens? Unmotivated. Mm-hmm. Hindi eh. Kasi sa, sa part-time na oras na nag-work ako, nandang mga tutupo ko ba ako, eh konting oras na lang yung inaalat ko sa tiba ako. So, lately, wala. Kasi wala namang ganun mga moment. So, I'm sorry I didn't give any advice on that. Uh, uh, uh. Um, well, for me, there are days where you don't feel like doing anything um, or don't feel like working. But usually, you just have to start. Oh, the advice I can give is you start with something small. You start with, yeah, because usually you have to get momentum. You just have to get momentum. So you start with an easy task. And then once you move, start feeling it, you can move on to, to, to more not as easy tasks. Um, and once you get momentum, it'll become easier for you to really um, get your productivity. 
um, because though that happens sa man sana, parang you don't feel like doing anything and you, and you can't get anything done. So start with something easy and then you'll get your momentum from there. Um, Phoenix, um, is your, I think, are you there? Is the mic good? Yeah, I'm at, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah you're good. Uh, okay, okay, that's good. Uh, may ano dito, uh, may isang complimentary comment dito sa ni Paige. Hi Stella, uh, please call her Stella for for me. Since you've been earning a lot as a freelancer, uh, what's your next goal? Stella ka raw kasi, you're stellar. Next goal? So what is your next step? So just, I still want to pursue yung pag-inis down. Pero not at this point. Siguro yung next year na yun. And goal pa sa pag-freelance, right? In, in life din siguro, I, I'm probably not just in freelancing, but everything. <laughs> okay, yun. Sa pag-freelance, may next down ako, maybe next year, sa email marketing naman. And sa, sa life, maybe... Wala naman, just to help more. Kasi you are blessed to bless others. So, mm-hmm. yun lang, help, help more people. Bless other people, that's a good goal. So it means to say you have already reached the point where you are satisfied where you are right now. Am I correct with that? Are we ever satisfied? Yeah, good answer. Good answer. <laughs> good answer. So it means to say, may may darating pa, may darating pa mga uh, mga projects, may darating ka pa, may darating pa mga ibang achievements na gusto mong ma-achieve. Is, is there an ultimate goal for you right now, especially in freelancing? Hmm. Siguro yung Magkaroon ng agency. Pero, oh. uh, agency na maraming nag, since ina-outsource ko na rin most of my tasks. Dati hmm. ako lang yung nakaka-receive ng mga tasks. Ngayon, ako na yung nag-outsource. Yeah, Siguro, build an agency. Ganun. I love that. Wow. Oh, when is that gonna happen? Mga two years from now, sir. Okay. <laughs> Two years from now. Back here. Yes, next year I want to niche down. So I'll a lot a year for that. Then come another year, siguro din na yung mag, mag agency. I love that. I love that. I love that. Because you're taking your you're taking sweet time. You're taking your uh, gentle time para minamasahe mo lahat ito mga mga ginagawa mo. Because a lot of uh, a lot of other freelancers are a little too aggressive in my opinion when it comes to evolving themselves and um, uh, achieving goals. But mm-hmm. minsan yun ang objective ng ng iba eh. yung as much as possible tapusin nila ang master class nila in just one week or something and then gusto nilang big time high value clients agad agad in just two months and they want to be earning like the how many k's after three months that you you seem to and uh want to enjoy the moment is uh, am i correct with that is that how you approach your uh freelancing life yes kasi gusto ko muna mamaster yung ins and out lang isang skill or ng isang industry or field or whatever bago ko ako mag-jump into another. Mm-hmm. And it takes you about a year to enjoy and hone your skills. Mm, I think so kasi ang dami kong interest so I might be pulled sa ganito. <laughs> I'm giving both of time. I love that. Kasi parang attitude mo yan as an artist, right? Is that how you approach your art as well? Uh, you really take your time to hone your skills and you, you're that, that uh, much in a hurry to finish your craft? Yes, I uh, enjoy the process. And of course, great things take time. We all know that naman. Nice, nice. Um, I, I love that, ano eh, yung late back. Uh, is that 
something that you learned from the master class or is that just you as a person um really that's your impression <laughs> yes yes it seems like it yeah it seems like it is especially some uh when you answer questions for example you go straight to the point and you just relax no no frills and no exaggerations so to me i get the impression that you're a bit laid back as a person really as a person siguro hindi ako laid back kasi i set goals for myself hindi lang basta basta siguro ngayon lang na I am I mean a CJ engagement. <laughs> well, that's a, um, the good thing about it is it, this is just an impression from me. Siguro si yung mga iba naman ano, yung ibang impression nila sa is you're a tiger. Just like Geraldine sabi niya, well, you are so honest, no wonder clients like you. Right? And here's a question from Joel. Hello Lian, rejecting client. How do you say it nicely? Hello. Um, rejecting in what way? Because before, nga and dami kong reject ng mga interviews. So I usually just say na my my hands are already full at the moment. I hope you can find the right or the best candidate for your job. If um, if hindi na ako masadong busy, maybe I could come back. To you to discuss this if available for the new job. Nice. Nice. Well, um, my comment, my comments is Shirley. Tito. Sorry, Shirley. Um, yeah, I, I commented na ano na na nayirapan ako sa mga pangalan din yun. So thank you very much for <laughs> thank you very much for making it easier for me. Now from uh, Michaela. Hi, Leanne. As a freelancer, what is your target niche to focus on? Yung pinaka-favorite mo? Pinaka-favorite? Uh, I think email, email marketing. Kasi gusto ko yung you connect with the audience through emotion. Diba gano'n naman pag marketing? Ino-influence mo yung, yung market. It's just a psychology game, I think. Wow, I didn't even know that. That you kind of approach, <laughs> I didn't even know that. I thought email marketing is just a copy pasting na parang robotic ka na. Oh, sa yun yung email na yan. Pasahin mo kung gusto mo. Parang ganang akala kung gawain sa email marketing. I didn't know that you you even go a step further that you make it a personal, a real communication between. You. You and the the recipient. Mm -hmm. oh, very nice. And here's a question from from Rowena. Leanne, any tips on how to effectively communicate with clients? First, listen to what they say and what they don't say, and then, um, I guess. Yung, yung approach mo dapat is, paano, paano mo silang matutulungan? Yun lang naman yung palaging um, effective way. Yung pain point. Hit the pain point. And bridge mo yung gap between yung success nila at where they are right now. Parang familiar yun, ha? Ha? Naalala ko po yung dancer, Jay. But yeah, focusing on the client, diba? Parang you want to have that that um, communication. You focus on the client, focus on on their own goals, um, their own business, diba? That, that's something that you should have, especially if you're targeting high value clients. Um, we just have probably we have um, like time for one or two more questions. Um, before we end, uh, it's already 55. Do we have uh, any pending questions for Phoenix? No, there's just one comment here. I see Beer Shiba saying, I love sales and marketing. Kulitin ng client for accounts. I think a lot of people uh, a lot of people are relating to you, the end, and they are inspired so much. They just want to emulate uh, your uh, what you're doing right now. Wow. Thank you. 
Ang daming na inspired dito. For, uh, I read the comments and they're all inspired. Like, wow, everything is wow. That na nasasabi nila is wow. They, want, they just want to be like you. So do you have any advice for people who want to do the way you do? Okay. Um, may, may printer ako, so basahin ko na lang kasi ayoko magkamali sa part na to. There you go. So ano, may you advice ko for everyone, this is general na live an intentional life that applies to every aspect. Kasi if you know your core values and intention, hindi ka basta-basta masisway. Um, hang on, wala. Keep going. Hang on. Hang on. Increase yung screen ko. Ay, yung screen mo. Oh. Hmm. It might have to uh, be fine. Plugin. Yeah. Sure you're you're sharing your screen. Um. Yes. Sana wait. Okay. 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 You won't be easily swayed by negative situations and toxic people. Tapos, ano, continue to develop your skills and abilities. Focus not on your limitations, but work on your potential. Ayun na. Ayun, yun. That, that's really good advice. I, I we totally agree na, yeah, you should live an intentional life. Focus on, on your skills. Skills and abilities. Skills. Skills and abilities. Skills and abilities. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> All right. Focus on your skills and abilities. Right? And and diba, your, your intentions, your priorities are really important diba, for you to achieve your goals, for you to be you know, to be like Lian, you know, how to be you, po, the question. Um, so, yeah, just, just um, you can uh, take a look. I'm going to share something here. You know, always try to live that kind of life, diba? With purpose, with intention. Um, and uh, try and clear yung priorities mo. Um, let me share my screen here. So I just have uh, an announcement uh, announcement to make, um, just reminding everybody um, about the webinar this coming Saturday. So there's Level Up for 2020. It's a webinar series. Um, the first session is going to be this Saturday. Um, there, it's going to be about advanced virtual assistance. We also have an announcement there, a very important announcement. You guys don't want to miss this, but it's a free webinar for you guys to level up. But we want to level up. We want to become better, um, better freelancers. We want to become to be higher earners uh, for 2020. So um, don't forget to join that webinar this coming Saturday at 8 p.m. Um, and and. As we close out today, I just want to thank thank everybody here. Thank you, Leanne. Thank you, Phoenix, for for hosting. Thank you, everybody, for staying on watching. Leanne, your story is very you know very inspirational. You've inspired a lot of people today. Um, you inspire more people. Pasa sa replay natin. Um, but thank you for you know for everything that you are and 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 sharing your story with us. And thank you guys. And thank you, Leanne. Thank you. All right. Bye bye. Hey guys, keep on sharing. This is good stuff. Uh oh, uh oh. Yes.